How you like my bed head? Hey everybody, it's Axel. Welcome back to my channel. I am running off of two and a half hours of sleep right now, so please forgive me. But uh, you know what? We here, and we gonna get her done. We gonna get her done. As you probably have already read from the title, we are going to be going over my wig collection. We might be in for a long ride. Who knows? But uh, I'm going to go ahead and braid my hair and get it in a wig cap and I'll be right back. Fabulous. Okay, now that I have my wig cap on, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling out the wigs. <clears throat> to be honest with you, most of these wigs are just costume wigs. They're not like high quality wigs. I've only got like one or two that are lace front. These are just the wigs that I could find on hand right now and I know for a fact that I have. So, like I said, some of them are going to look cheap cheap because they were cheap cheap. They were like costume wigs. 99% of them need to be washed. Uh, it's been probably a year since I've touched any of them, sadly. Don't judge me. I still love my wigs, though. So, I'm going to put one on, and I'll be right back. But, uh, they all need to be washed, brushed, and restyled. I just figured I would show y'all what I have. So, this first one is lace in the front. Lace around the front with the combs. And it is a blonde to purple to black long wig. I'll be right back. <coughs> really? remember when brushing your wigs try to start from the bottom and work your way up that way you're not pulling out more hair than you need the wig it doesn't grow hair back so whatever you lose is lost all right so this wig has always looked weird around the roots in my opinion because it's like lumpy but with a hat on I really really love this wig cuz purple is my second favorite color but uh, let's see if I can show you how long this wig is so it starts here all the way down here below the boobs so, yeah next wig this next wig I've had on the display head <laughs> for a long time now so it's a little dusty a little dusty so just like the other one it has sorry about the glue <laughs> it has a uh, lace in the front like I said all of these need to be cleaned so lace in the front along with three hooks and let's put it on Some of these caps are just a little small for my head. So I will usually wear them with a, uh, a hat of some sort. Especially, like, I like to wear these during the fall and winter the most.
because in my opinion it's too hot here to wear them any other time. That's all I'm going to brush it. Because I'm just trying to show you the wigs. Not make them look perfect right now. So this is it. It doesn't have a very natural hairline, but it is lace. At least in the front. And this one is a longish, well I say ish, it is a long wig. Damn it, I can't get that one tangle out, dude. Again, like long, long, like boobs, way under boobs. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me go show y'all what I'm talking about about the hat, though. This one is my favorite hat to wear with my wigs. It says Bad Hair Day. And I bought it off of Wish, I think, for a dollar. Yeah, something like that. But I just like to throw it on with my wigs that don't look so real. Because it helps hide everything that goes on up top. Because that's honestly usually where you have the most problems with something looking real. That and the shininess of wigs. I've got a few wigs that I have not traded yet that are like just straight, straight costume wigs that I don't really wear because I didn't realize they were costume wigs when I bought them. But anyways, I've got some dry shampoo that I'll end up spraying them down with to help with some of the shininess. This one I've already done before. But you'll see what I'm talking about. I've got several that are like, oh my god, shiny. Like, bad shiny. Like, they're, they're scary. You'll see. You'll see. Yeah, this is one of the costume wigs. So, <laughs> oh, let's, let's view this cheap, 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 cheap quality wig. Alright, so <laughs> that is the cap. No clips, no combs, no lace. Just a cheap costume cap. But the hair itself is extremely long. This is probably one of the longest wigs that I have. I'm going to put this one on and be right back. I actually love this wig for the bangs, but the only problem is, is I can't wear this wig without a hat. And let me show you why. Boom. Really? Really? And like no matter how much you rearrange the hair, you can still see it. So this is one of those that I would absolutely always wear my bad hair day hat with. The problem with me wearing wigs though is no matter where I am, if I'm at home, if I'm in public, if I'm in my car, wherever I am, I will just sit there and constantly mess with the hair. Like, I will always just stroke the hair, trying to make sure that it's, you know, not tangled and all over the place. But let me stand up and show you how long this one is. And so, the next one I want to do 
Let's go with the hot pink one. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure this wig is huge on my head. But, uh... It's just a cheap wig like the last one. But it's got the straps on it. Just trying to help hold it, because that is a lot. I, don't, I really don't think you can tell, but that is a lot of cap in there. A lot. And I have to put an entire bottle of dry shampoo on this wig to try and get rid of how shiny it is. But, you know. Again, this one's like really shiny, really shiny. So I probably would never wear this any time other than sometime in October. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the color. But uh, it is hella shiny. Hella shiny. Extremely shiny. This one's shorter though. It's like uh, nipple, maybe a little bit below nipple length. At least on me. So it's definitely shorter than the other ones I just showed you. But it's still considered to be a long wig. Telling you y'all, this hat goes with all of these wigs so perfectly in my opinion. Bad hair day. That's, that's honestly kind of what it looks like, but I'm cool with it. Let's move on. Let's go with the blonde. I've got like a natural blonde looking color. Like a silvery natural blonde like dirty blonde almost so yeah how you like my bed head all right i told y'all that like 99 percent of these were costume wigs didn't i i believe i did uh this one is included too even though it's more of a natural color, it uh, it's included. It was a cheap one. So, very cheap wig. But I really, really like the color. The color is so natural to me. So natural is not even funny. I love this one, but this one I have a lot of problems with. Because for one, it's not really big enough to fit on my head. So, this is another one of those that if I was going to wear it out in public, I'd wear a hat with it. Believe it or not, y'all, I was actually born a blonde. But my mom's a redhead. And the older I've gotten, the redder my hair's gotten. I think that's why I like this wig so much, because it reminds me of when my hair was blonde. Like, born blonde. Type blonde. Because this isn't one of those, like, Oh, uh, let me go bleach my hair blonde type blonde colors. I feel like this is definitely one of the more I was born this way type blonde colors. Other than the fact that this one is way too small for my head. Um, I really like this one. I like the color. I like the texture. I like the feel. I like the fact that it's not 
extremely, extremely shiny like the other ones. Um, I just really like it. What do y'all think? I want y'all to tell me which, which one is your favorite by the end of the video. So be, be, why can't I get my words out? So be thinking about that while you're watching. I want to know which one's your favorite. But let's continue. So, I'm just going to pull at this point. I'm not going to look. Alright, so this one's my red and black one. Let's continue. I've worn this one on a couple occasions, but again, I wore it with a hat. In fact, I remember wearing this on Thanksgiving one year. But yeah. So this one also has roots. Not roots. I don't know why I said roots. Bangs. This one also has bangs. But it's just streaky black and red curly hair. And cheap wig cap. This is a great look. Great look. The last time I wore this one was probably The last time I wore this wig was probably two or three years ago for Thanksgiving. I'm probably going to put these hat, this hat on for like every, every wig, if I'm just being honest. Nine times out of ten, don't get me wrong, I really do love wearing wigs. But nine times out of ten, if I'm not wearing a hat with it, I'm not going to feel comfortable in it. Unless it's like a really high quality, realistic looking wig. So to make myself feel a little bit more comfortable, I just throw the hat on. As you've seen six times already. I don't know why, but right now I'm getting like skater girl aerial vibes. If the Little Mermaid was a skater girl, I guess. But yeah. This next one I have. Is purple and black. This is like really big, bouncy curls. This one's not terrible, I guess. But you know me. If I'm wearing a wig, I'm wearing a hat. Wake with me here.
think I'll go with the one that I wore on the cruise first and then end with my first and then end with my oldest wig that I have right now. So I'll be right back. So this one's slightly different than the ones I've been showing you. This one is lace front and it actually has a widow's peak. So it's so, all lace in the front. Again, I have to wash them. It's just some glue. But it has a widow's peak. Several clips. And this one is like a auburn to red, naturally curly looking mixture. And I love this one so much. But it's so big around the top that it reminds me of a lion's mane. <laughs> of course it does. This one doesn't look bad. It's just very big at the top. And I probably should bleach these knots. But I've never done that before, so. Usually I will glue this one down so that the widow's peak stays. And yeah. I love this wig. Probably the closest texture to my natural hair. Closest texture, not necessarily color, but my curls definitely look like this. Wild. And for my oldest, this is the original, my OG. It's super matted, but you know. I love this one. It's probably got the most lace out of all of my wigs. As far as like the deep part goes, let's put it on. This has been like, I don't know, at least two or three years since I put this wig on. It doesn't have the most natural hairline, but I love the part in it. I can't tell you how many times I have straightened and curled and straightened and curled and straightened and curled this wig. And this is just the short part right here in the front that's not even like like all of it. Oh, I forgot how much I love this wig. I love it. 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 I don't know what. 
what that was, but you know. And I definitely don't need a hat for this one, in my opinion. I wore this to college every day for like a year without a hat. Like it was my natural hair. So, I don't need a hat. But I showed you all the other ones with a hat, so I might as well show you this one with a hat. I love it. I love it. I miss it. Honestly, I might even wear it to town to go pick Babe up. Who knows at this point. But yeah. I hope y'all have enjoyed um, like I said, this was my wig collection, or at least the wigs that I could find. I don't remember having any more, but I might have. Just can't find them? I don't know. Honestly, I'm probably going to be buying another one soon, so keep an eye out for that. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed, like I said. My name is Axel. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, comment down below which which wig was your favorite one. Uh, I I honestly have no idea what anyone else would personally like, cause everybody's different. But I really want to know which one that you like the most. So comment down below and let me know which wig you liked. Um, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all tomorrow. For our next vlogoween post. Y'all stay tuned. Bye.